Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new and welcome to another 24 hour reading vlog. So this 24 hour reading vlog is going to be a little bit different to my usual ones. Usually when I do a 24 hour reading vlog, I literally do it for 24 hours real time hours. So I'll start at 12 o'clock one day and finish at 12 o'clock the next day. That sort of vibe. However, recently I have been seeing some people do it slightly differently and I thought I'd give it a go. This video is heavily influenced by Destiny Sidwell who recently did a 24 hour reading vlog where she started a timer on her phone every time she started reading and then whenever she was not reading, so if she was sleeping, eating, napping, anytime she was just not reading she would stop the timer. That way when it got to 24 hours, she knew for sure she had been reading for 24 hours. So that is what we're going to do today. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm also really, really excited though. And to make it even more exciting, in this reading vlog, we will be reading only viral TikTok romances. I seem to have accumulated quite a few over the last few months and I thought it was high time I got through some of these. I'm really excited for them. I'm really hoping that I'm going to love them as much as all of TikTok seems to love them. I have six books here, all of which are possible reads for this little readathon. I don't know how many I'm going to need. I don't know how many books I can actually read in 24 hours, which is what is going to be most interesting about this vlog. We may get through all of these. We may get through only a few of these. I really don't know, but I'm excited to find out. I'm also going to do what I saw Destiny Sidwell doing, which was every time she finished a book, she would lap the timer. That way she could see how many hours it took her to read each book individually because I'm really interested to see what my reading speed is like and how it differs based on the book and how much I'm enjoying the book. So that is the plan for today's video. I'm excited. I hope you're excited too. So I'm gonna get reading shortly. First of all I need to pick a options. We have We Were Liars by E. Lockhart, The Hating Game by Sally Thorne, The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood, Eight Perfect Hours by Leah Lewis, The Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armas, and Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I am hugely excited for all of these books so hopefully this is going to be a really fun time. I think I will start with We Were Liars by Lee E. Lockhart purely because this book is literally like 220 pages long and I feel like if I can fly through this book it'll put me off to a really good start for this little readathon. That's my logic. We will see how accurate it is. So yeah, I am going to get myself nice and comfortable right now. I'm going to start the timer and we're going to start reading We Were Liars. hour and I have managed to read 92 pages of We Were Liars so I am fairly flying through this one. However, I'm not entirely sure if I'm enjoying it. This is a weird one. Like it is very very sad the whole book. It kind of gives me Perks of Being a Wallflower vibes. Like we've got this young person who's dealing with some like emotional issues and some sort of trauma as well and it's kind of like everything from their perspective and their sort of weird like warped view of reality. In that it definitely reminds me of Paris being a wallflower. I kind I do like the writing, like I do think the writing can be quite beautiful at times but it's also just very weird and a lot of the times the author is using like imagery but just putting it in as like this happened and for a second you're like oh my god what happened and then you're like oh wait no that was just like an image and it never actually happened. I don't know if that makes sense but it's kind of like, I mean it says on the back, which are lies, which is truth, you decide. So I do feel like it's like a purposeful thing to put these bits in for you to decide if that actually happened or if this is like some dramatic line that the narrator is putting forth to you. And also if it actually happened because it is a, she is a very unreliable narrator, she has had blackouts, she's not very well, so you're kind of trying to figure out what's fact and what's fiction here. I feel like this could be one of those books where nothing really properly happens. I mean the main gist of the story is that we've got this main girl called Katie who one summer at her grandfather's house went through some sort of trauma. She has been ill ever since and she does not remember what happened and I'm a 
the story is basically about her trying to find out what happened and I'm assuming we will find out at some point. But, but other than that it's quite, I don't know, it's a weird one. I'm not sure if I'm enjoying it or not but I did manage to read 92 pages in an hour so if we keep up that speed it'll take me maybe like another hour and a half to finish this one. So within two and a half hours we will already be one book down which is quite good, not too shabby at all. And then we can move on to our second book of the Readathon. All right guys, I have finished book one of the Readathon. We Were Liars is now complete and it took me two hours and 31 minutes which is a pretty good start, I'm not gonna lie. I am highly aware that this is the shortest book on my TBR for this little challenge. So it's only gonna go downhill from here, but nevertheless, it was a good star. I actually ended up rating this one four out of five stars. I have read so many bad things about this recently, people saying they really didn't like it. I don't know why. I was shook by the twist in this. I did not see that coming whatsoever. Probably for the first half of the book, as I said earlier, I didn't really know what was going on. I did feel like it was quite slow, but I did also feel like it was quite beautiful and sad as well. And then once you get to the twist and you understand what this whole book has been about, I just think it was beautiful. It was shocking. It was beautiful. I actually really enjoyed it. I think it's beautifully written and is really clever as well. Yeah. I'm not going to go into too much detail. That's not what this video is really about. But yeah, four out of five stars. Highly enjoyed it. A good start to this. Hopefully it can continue. I think next up I'm going to pick up The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. I have not read an Enemies to Lovers book in... A while. So I feel like it's only right that I go in with like the ultimate anime to lovers book. This is the one everyone goes on about. I don't know too much about it. I've not watched the film because I want to read the book first. All I know is that we have two people who work together in an office who hate each other and then they must fall in love. That's it. That's all I've got. But I'm excited to see what all the fuss is about with this one. Hopefully it's going to be a new favourite because I know that so many people absolutely rave about it. So I think first of all I'm going to stop. I'm going to get myself some dinner because I'm actually starving right now. So have some dinner, chill with that, maybe watch some friends and then we'll start book number two. I'm tired. So guys, I have now been reading for a total of 5 hours and 24 minutes and I am on page 206 of The Hating Game. Oh guys, oh, oh. I think, I think I'm gonna go to sleep and continue reading in the morning. Good morning! So Last night I got super sleepy and had to go to bed because let me tell you no reading was gonna get done. This brain was not consuming any words whatsoever. However, I did get a rather good sleep. I feel very refreshed today. I did end up reading for a little bit this morning so I've now been reading for a total of six hours and 11 minutes and I think I have about 100 pages left of the Haiti game to go. Let me see, I've been reading this one for a total of three hours and 39 minutes, which is <laughs> quite a lot compared to the two and a half hours that it took me to do We Were Liars. But this one is bigger and it's also got a hell of a lot more words on the page. Plus I was tired when I was reading it. So I feel like all of that has come together to mean that this one is being read lot a lot slower but that's fine I'm having a great time. I am absolutely loving this book. The sexual tension between Lucy and Josh honestly everything. I absolutely love it. I am eating it up. Not gonna lie I didn't expect the sort of like romantic part of this relationship to start quite as early as it did. Like I thought they were going to be hating on each other and totally like wanting to kill each other for like at least half the book but quite early on they started to realise that they actually may have feelings for each other and that they're sort of masking that with hatred. So I didn't expect that to happen quite so early on but I'm kind of happy it did because Sally Thorne it gives you like these little snippets of what they could be like what 
what their relationship can be like, how they really feel about each other. It keeps you going when they're going through like the hatred portions because you're just waiting for them to realise again and to like let down those walls a little bit again. Also there are like a million green tabs in this book because it is freaking funny. Like I have been laughing out loud at this one. Let me tell you there would be a hell of a lot more green tabs in this book if I didn't restrain myself because I realised I could be green tabbing pretty much every page and we just don't want that. So I've tried to restrain myself and only tab the bits that are like really really funny and not the bits that are just really funny. Honestly I absolutely love Lucy and Josh. Like I think they're hilarious. The way they bounce off each other with their snide remarks it's just it's great. So yeah I have about 100 pages left. I am waiting to see what's going to happen. I have a feeling we're going to get to the point where it's all going to go downhill before it gets better soon which is my least favourite part of a romance book. I know it has to happen, it's part of the formula, but I just hate that bit of miscommunication before they realise that they love each other and they want to have each other's babies. So yeah, I think I'm going to sit just now and hopefully finish this book quite quickly. We're in this for 3 hours and 39 minutes, so hopefully I will finish it within the like four and a half hour mark and then we can move on to our next book which I'm not sure which one that's going to be yet but we will cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> freaking stars. Honestly, I love this book. I absolutely adored it. Those last like 50 to 100 pages were everything I wanted and more. Josh and Lucy will now live in my head rent free. I freaking love Josh. And their witty banter the whole way through was just top tier. The sexual chemistry between these two was incredible. I just, I loved it. I freaking loved it. And then I did just go on to Goodreads to put my rating in and I noticed that a couple of people had given this one star. And I started to read the reviews but then I started to get really really angry so I came off the reviews but it made me think maybe I should do a uh, reading one star reviews of my favourite books at some point and we can see how angry I can really get. But this one took me a total of 4 hours and 53 minutes which I'm not gonna lie I'm not really impressed with I really thought I could have read this a lot faster but I enjoyed my time with it I had a great time reading this book so it's not too bad we have now been reading for a total of seven hours and 25 minutes. So we still have like 16 and a half hours to go, is that right? Around that, around that sort of area, which means theoretically it's two more of what I've already done, which suggests I could read another four books. I don't think I'm gonna because like I said We Were Liars is like really short and the rest of them are all longer than We Were Liars so maybe I'll read like another three books. I don't know but we still got a long way to go guys. We've got a long way to go. So let's pick our third book so that we can get started and actually ramp up these hours. So these are the choices and I'm not gonna lie I really don't know which one I want to go with next. Let's do it. Let's read The Love Hypothesis. I have been seeing great things, amazing things about this one everywhere. I mean, <laughs> obviously I've been seeing amazing things about this. We're doing a viral TikTok video. But I feel like people have really been talking about this one in particular recently because a couple of those are sort of like, I mean like Red, White and Royal Blue is like a last year type thing. This one is the one that I feel like everyone's still talking about at the moment. So let's give it a go. I actually have absolutely no idea what this book is about so maybe we'll read a little bit of the blurb. Okay I read the words fake relationship and that's all I need to know. I freaking love fake dating. Okay so we've had an enemy to lovers and now we've got a fake dating. I am just loving this so much. Okay I'm gonna get comfy and I'm gonna start this book right now. It is quite a bit later now and I have just finished book three of this little readathon thing we've got going on. I love this book. I ended up giving it 
four out of five stars. I think this is my new favourite Grumpy Sunshine book. Obviously the fake dating was great as well but I just really love the Grumpy Sunshine aspect of this. I don't know if I've actually read that many Grumpy Sunshine books but I absolutely loved that dynamic in this one. Olive and Adam are just so cute and I just I really loved Adam. I feel like he's one of my favourite love interests that I've read recently like his whole vibe and the way he is with her is just amazing and I absolutely loved all of the like feminist aspect of this in terms of women in science. It was just so funny, so like smart and witty and also the smut in this was very very good as well. So yeah, four out of five stars. Really, really loved it. It took me four hours and 33 minutes to read this one. So a little bit less than The Hating Game. I did feel like I was reading this one a little bit quicker but I suppose there's only like a 20 minute difference so it's not really that big a deal. I have now been reading for a total of 11 hours and 58 minutes. Guys, we're not even, <laughs> we're not even quite halfway there yet. Like, it's like, how? How are we not even quite halfway? How is that a thing? I feel like I've been reading for my entire life. I've got to do it all over again to complete this challenge. Like, I just, I don't understand. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep tripping on. We've got another twelve hours to go. It's all good. So that is book three, done and dusted. Now to choose book four. So I've got oh my god, both of these books feel really chunky. I'm not sure how I feel about that right now. I'm either gonna start the Spanish Love Deception or Red, White, and Royal Blue, and I'm really really struggling to choose which one. Mm. Okay, I think I'm going to go with the Spanish Love Deception. This is kind of giving me the wedding date vibes just from the blurb and that is one of my favourite romance films. I absolutely love it with all my heart. And this is Enemies to Lovers Fake Dating. So, can we really go wrong with that? Hopefully not. I've also heard so many people going on and on about how much they love Adam Blackford. So I'd really like to find out what all the fuss is about. So yeah. I think this is going to be our fourth book for this little readathon. Place your bets now on how long it's going to take me to read it. This one is 468 pages. How long was the love hypothesis? 352. Right, okay. <laughs> so this one's probably going to take a little bit longer. Um, yeah, I'm going to say maybe this will be closer to like the six hour mark. I don't know but at least if that's true by the time I finish this I've only got a quarter of it. I've still got a quarter of the challenge to go. <sighs> Guys this challenge is absolutely messing with my head, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so I have now been reading for a total of 15 hours and 9 minutes. You guys, I don't think I really understood the magnitude of this task when I took it on. 24 hours of reading? It's a lot of reading. It is not easy, my friends. Give it a go and let me know how you feel because my brain hurts. Not like in a headache hurts way in like a you have been spending too much time staring at a page and envisioning hot men kind of way. I am halfway through the Spanish love deception now though and I am absolutely loving this one. Enemies to lovers, I I just can't get enough of it. There is something about that sexual tension between two people who are pretending to hate each other but really don't. The way they look at each other, that smouldering intensity between them. I just love that shit. Which is probably why The Hating Game got a higher rating than The Love Hypothesis. However, I do love fake dating as well. Like all those little touches and things when they're having to pretend to people that they're in love and they want to touch each other and really they do want to touch each other but they're pretending they don't. Love that shit too. So The Spanish Love Deception is basically putting those two things into one, which makes me think this is going to be my favourite read of this little readathon. I cannot put this book down, I do not want to stop reading it, and I 100% understand the fuss over Aaron Blackford. Like, he's so damn sexy. The way he is with her, I mean, it's pretty clear right from the start. He has a little thing for Lena. He, in my opinion, is not really hiding that 
at all. She is just oblivious to the way he is with her. It is clear he has had a little crush on her for a very long time and he has never hated her. He's already said so many unbelievably cute things that she, they're just like whew, with her. I don't get it. It was the same with the love hypothesis as well. Like I almost wanted to have a coloured tab purely to annotate all the moments of miscommunication where he was clearly saying, I like you. And she was just like, oh my God, like he hates me. I just don't know what I could possibly have done. He don't hate you, girl. He do not hate you. He fancy you rather a lot. I swear there'd be like a million tabs in this book and the love hypothesis if I did do that because these girls, they just don't seem to pick up on the signs, you know? I don't, I don't really think anyone could be that oblivious, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, fully obsessed with this book. So hopefully we'll finish that one soon and then we'll still have some hours to go <laughs> and reconsidering all my life choices. I think I might have found my new favourite romance. Like, oh my god. To anyone who has not yet read The Spanish Love Deception, you need to go ahead, get yourself a copy, pick it off the shelf and read it right now. This was just, this was everything. Like look at the amount of tabs in that book. Five out of five stars. I genuinely, I'm um, like, this is a bold statement, but I genuinely think this is my new favorite romance ever. I freaking loved it. Adam Blackford, marry me please. He is everything. He is so damn hot. He has such a way with words, like the things he says to her. <sighs> Honestly, like I have no words. I've just been drooling over this man for the entirety of this book. The last hundred pages, I, I mean the whole thing, I just could not put it down. I was literally hanging on every word of this romance. I mean, I'm definitely in a little bit of a romance era at the moment and I think that's helping. <laughs> I've obviously rated all these pretty high and I'm I just absolutely loving all these books, but this is 100% my favourite book of this little readathon. And honestly, I think my favourite romance ever. It was just everything. It was perfect. I... Oh, I'm in love. In terms of this little 24 hour challenge, that book took me six hours and 52 minutes to read. So it did take me quite a long time, but it is a lot heftier than the other ones that I've read so far. It is quite a chunky rom romance, I'm not gonna lie. And also I have been tabbing it to within an inch of its life. So that has been taking me a little bit longer as well. I've been rereading sections because I love them so much. I've just been like savouring the moment with this book, you know. I wasn't pushing myself to race through it. I was enjoying every second of this book. So yeah, we have now been reading for a total of 18 hours and 51 minutes. So I've got about five hours and 10 minutes left. So I think that'll be time for one more book. So I'm going to pick up Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. This one, I'm kind of worried it's going to take me longer than the challenge. So I may have to just go slightly over the 24 hours because it will really, really bug me if I do not finish this book within the video and then have to finish it afterwards. But we shall see. I'll see how fast I start to read it. Again, this is like a heftier one. I think this is like the 400 page mark. So maybe just a little bit less than the Spanish Love Deception. But it is a, on the bigger side of a romance. And I think this is the one that I'm sort of most concerned about reading. I think that's why I've left it till last. Because I've been hearing nothing but my amazing things about this book for so long. And I've been putting it off for so long because of that. But you know what? In this video, we have fully jumped on board the hype train and we are loving every second of it. Absorbing, hilarious, tender, sexy. I mean, those are all the things you really look for in a romance. So fingers crossed I'm gonna love it. <sighs> Let's start our final book.
Alrighty guys, I have officially been reading for a total of 24 hours. Yay! It's over! 24 hours of viral TikTok romances and it has been all right. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of glad it's over but I'm also really excited to do my next one of these because it was a whole lot of fun. I do still have 50 pages left of Red, White and Royal Blue but I'm just gonna finish the vlog here so that I can get it all edited and uploaded for you guys because it did take a little bit longer than I expected it to to film. So yeah, I have 50 pages left of this but I am already 100% sure it is gonna be a five star read. I am obsessed with this book. I have been laughing out loud so hard. Like I don't think I've ever laughed out loud this much at a book before. The witty banter between Henry and Alex is just incredible. Casey McQuiston is such a good writer. I need to read everything Casey McQuiston now because she's just totally my type of romance writer. The sexual chemistry between these two is hot AF. Emails they send to each other is so cute. I want to cry. Honestly, this book has just been absolutely amazing from start to finish. I have once again tabbed it a lot. I'm sure I will continue to for the last 50 pages and will definitely give it five stars. Unless it has an absolutely terrible ending but I really don't see that happening. So if we were to go through all of my timings for this vlog. First of all I read We Were Liars which took me two hours and 31 minutes. I then read The Hating Game which took me four hours and 53 minutes. Next I read The Love Hypothesis which took me four hours and 33 minutes. Then I read The Spanish Love Deception which took me six hours and 52 minutes. But like I said, I was savouring every word of that book so I was happy for it to take a little bit longer. And finally, Red, White and Royal Blue so far has taken me five hours and eight minutes. Bearing in mind I've got about 50 pages left to go, I would assume we'll probably be at the five hours and 40 minute mark by the time I'm done. So yeah, five books, almost five whole books in 24 hours. To be honest, I think I could have done five books in 24 hours more easily if I wasn't tabbing them all like crazy. Because that does take a fair bit of time when you think about it. So I I'm pretty impressed with that, I'm not gonna lie. I have had such a good time doing it. All of these books have been incredible. Like, some, I don't know why sometimes I feel like I have to fight against the book talk, the book community hype for any books. I just feel like all these people are loving it and all these people are talking about it. I don't want anything to do with it. And I don't know why, because I always love all these hyped books, which is completely proven by this vlog. So maybe in future, I just need to submit to the hype train. Just grab my ticket and hop on up there. I will of course give you my full thoughts for this in my wrap up at the end of the month so you will get my rating and final thoughts then. I think we already know what's going down there. So that will bring us to the end of this reading vlog. I really really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the format of it. Please do let me know if you did and if you'd like me to do more of these in the future and if you'd like a particular theme for them whether that be filler books, more romance books, a particular series, any of that vibe. But if you did make it to the end of this video then pop the clock emoji down below because obviously this whole video was a race to and against the clock. Pop that emoji down below just to let me know that you made it to the end of this video and that you enjoyed your time here. But as always if you did enjoy the video then do please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more bookish content from me. Comment down below with any of your thoughts and feelings. I do reply to every single comment. I love you all and I will see you in my next one.